Hey everybody, it's Soaping Sunday and today we are going to see if using blue spirulina will turn soap blue. My favorite color is blue. I am really hopeful that this blue spirulina powder is going to work great in my cold process soap. I really hope to get different varying shades of blue depending on how much powder we use. So I really hope this works. <laughs> And for molds, we are going to be making some blue sunflowers, some blue butterflies, and a combination of blue butterflies, blue dragonflies, and moths. So it should look pretty cool. <laughs> Let's get to soaping.
Okay. <laughs> Two and a half hours later, we have the soap in the molds. And let's hope that we get some nice, beautiful soap out of this. <laughs> I gotta say, for the most part, this went really smoothly, aside from the explosion of soap batter. Mm. Oh my gosh. That was a bit messy. I was squeezing that bottle apparently too hard because the top popped off and it splattered all over my shirt, my jeans, the floor, the counter, the chair. It was just like splattered. So I quickly ran. <laughs> took my clothes off because I didn't want to have any of that seep through and burn my skin, thankfully. No burns. And thank goodness for protective shields, gloves, full length clothing. I was very lucky that I didn't get any burns from that. And now I know to be careful with those dollar store squeeze bottles because the tops can pop off with pressure. <laughs> But I gotta say I'm really happy with the color of the blue spirulina. If it looks anything like this once it's cured, I'm gonna be really excited. So we're gonna let this cure. We'll check back tomorrow and see what it looks like. See you then. It's day two. Let's see how the soap turned out. The blue is definitely a lot lighter than the vibrant blue we saw yesterday. So I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but let's unmold it. Well, it came out really easy. Looks beautiful. I do like the blue swirls in there but it's more like a speckled gray with a little bit of blue in it so not as vibrant as i was hoping sure smells nice though and i mean it's still pretty this one has a little bit of cocoa powder soap batter from my little explosion but it's got pretty swirls and the rest of it has some of that speckled blue to it. And this is just a cocoa powder soap. <laughs> and then the rest of them, I just put the regular soap batter without any colorants and it's really nice. I actually enjoy this shape and size as a shower bar. So I'll definitely be enjoying these. <laughs> okay, so we know that the soap has hardened. So let's see about these sunflowers. I'm gonna start with the first sunflower that we did that was more of a lightish greenish blue color. So it does look cool it's a cool color but it's i would say more in the green family now the second one had a bit more blue to it but still came out pretty pale it's a cool color but definitely not the vibrant blue i was going for Now yesterday, this was a really nice blue color, but after curing overnight, it honestly looks more green to me. And you can definitely see some speckling in there. It's pretty, but again, still not that nice blue that I want. All right, here we go. This last sunflower of the blue shades was the darkest, like a nice dark blue see what we've got here. It's pretty. I mean, it is really pretty. It's just not a vibrant blue. It smells great. It looks good. Just wish it was a little more blue. 
And then the last two sunflowers were the regular soap batter color. I do love the sunflowers that are traditional with just the natural soap batter color and the brown center. So pretty. And the last one, beautiful. Okay, so I didn't get my vibrant blue sunflower, but the blue spirulina color, it's still pretty. I just wouldn't reach for it as that like blue color that I would be looking for, but it's something I can still work with with these more muted greenish blue colors. But let's see how they turned out in the butterflies. So with the butterflies, we had started with the lighter color and we worked our way to the darker shades with the extra blue spirulina. So I'm going to flip this upside down on here to try to unmold it without cracking it this time. Well, that went better. <laughs> I do still have to trim all the edges, but this is the lightest color, which is actually pretty. It's a pretty butterfly. And then it gets a little bit deeper in color. A little bit deeper. And then this is the darkest color, which for the butterflies, it actually does look really pretty. So let's check out the butterflies we did with the most concentrated amount of blue spirulina. They do look pretty. They look like gray butterflies to me with like some blue speckling. And last but not least, the little goats. I cannot wait. I really hope they look like Freddie James. The color looked a little dark yesterday, but I was figuring it would lighten up and hopefully it'll look like him. <laughs> so this is the Original soap batter, but with a little bit of cocoa powder that I had mixed into the batter. But just a little bit of it, just to darken the soap a bit to set this goat apart. Since his color is so similar to the color of my goat milk soap, needed it to just be a little bit darker so we, the little goat can stand out inside the soap. Now the last time I did this the little tail on the big goat broke so I'm trying to do this slowly to not lose the tail and I lost the tail. <laughs> Look how cute. I do actually like the color. Here's the little baby goats. Let's actually compare the color. I'm just gonna separate these little babies so that we can look at the color difference. We'll take the original soap batter and we're going to pop a baby on. Look how cute! Oh my goodness! You can actually see the baby goat in contrast to the original soap. So it worked to just make it a little bit darker with a little cocoa powder so that way you can see the light colored tan goat inside of the soap. I love it. This is Freddie James right here. That is Freddie James and we're gonna be making more of him and putting him inside the soap for a little goat surprise. <laughs> I love it. This is a win today. <laughs> the blue spirulina, 
I'm not calling it a win. It wasn't what I was going for, but it's still pretty. But this, definite win. I'll take it. Okay, so to wrap things up, yes, you can use blue spirulina in cold process soap. However, it's not going to be a bright, vibrant blue. Once it actually solidifies, it ends up being a much more muted color in the grayish greenish family with speckles of blue but it's still pretty <laughs> so thanks for joining me today on soaping sunday and we'll see you next time for some more soaping adventures and if you haven't started soaping yet what are you waiting for get your soap on and it really helps the channel if you hit that like button to give us a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, you'll get to see more of our videos. It really helps our channel out. Thank you so much. <laughs>